mDaemon can be configured to send mail directly to a recipient domain's mail server or through a smart host. In mDaemon Remote Administration, these mail delivery options are located under Setup, Server Settings, Delivery. Using the options under the Mail Routing section, you can choose to send all outbound email directly to the recipient's mail server, send all outbound email to a smart host, or send all email directly first and then to a smart host if there are problems. Using the options on the right hand side, a default smart host can be added here and each domain can have its own smart host as well. If a domain has not been assigned a smart host, then the default smart host shown here will be used. We'll talk about per domain smart hosts shortly. Enter your default smart host's IP address or host name in the blank provided. You can check this box if you'd like mDaemon to perform an MX record lookup on the smart host domain name and deliver mail to the server specified in the MX record. Otherwise, email messages will be delivered directly to the smart host specified here. If your smart host requires authentication, then check this box and enter a valid username and password in the blanks provided. You can optionally check the box to allow per account authentication. When this option is enabled, the sender's optional smart host username and password will be used. These credentials can be specified within the account manager for each account. For example, to access an account's smart host settings, navigate to it via the account manager, click on mail services, and enter the username and password in the blanks provided under the smart host access section, and then apply your changes. Back on the main smart host configuration screen, Check Perform a Pop Check if this server requires that you first check for new inbound mail before you can send outbound mail through it. Enter the host name or IP address and valid login credentials in the blanks provided. Now let's go over the delivery settings options at the bottom of this screen. Check the first box to abort delivery if the SMTP RCPT command receives a 500 series error. This typically indicates that the recipient address is invalid. Check the second box to bounce the message if the receiving domain has no MX hosts. Ordinarily, when mDaemon checks the receiving domain's DNS records, it will look for MX records and then for an A record when no MX records are found. If neither are found, then it will bounce the message back to the sender as undeliverable. Enable this option if you want mDaemon to immediately bounce the message when no MX record is found instead of allowing it to then look for an A record. This option is disabled by default and is grayed out when mDaemon is configured to send mail through a smart host. In other words, this feature is only available when mDaemon is configured to send mail directly to the receiving domain's mail server. When the third box is checked, mDaemon will return or bounce the message when it receives a 500 series fatal error response from an MX host. Consequently, it won't continue trying to deliver the message to any subsequent MX hosts that may be designated for the recipient's domain. If this option is disabled, mDaemon won't bounce the message as long as at least one of the MX hosts is available or returns a 400 series non-fatal error response. This option is enabled by default. You can optionally bounce messages when a 500 series permanent delivery error is received from a smart host. Now that we've discussed how to configure a default smart host, let's go over how to configure a smart host for each domain. Under the main menu, click on Domain Manager and select the domain to which you would like to assign a smart host. Click on the Edit button and then click on Smart Host as shown here. Then simply check the box to configure a smart host for this domain and then enter the smart host IP address or host name. You can optionally check this box to perform an MX record lookup on the smart host domain and deliver mail to the host name specified in its MX record. If SMTP authentication is required, then check this box and enter a valid username and password in the blanks provided. You can also enable per account authentication, which as I mentioned earlier in this lesson, uses each individual account's optional smart host username and password. If no smart host credentials have been designated for a given account, then the above credentials will be used. If you'd like to configure per account authentication to use each account's email password instead of its optional smart host password, then you can do so by editing the ISP auth use passwords key in the mdaemon.ini file. To enable per account authentication, navigate to the mdaemon app directory as shown here, locate the mdaemon.ini file, and open it with Notepad. Add the word auth enclosed in brackets to create a new section, and then add 
ISP auth use passwords equals yes as shown here and then save the file. Now keep in mind that enabling per account authentication will over time effectively communicate all of your account's local mail passwords to your smart host. This could pose a risk to mail security since it is providing sensitive information to another server. You should not use this option unless you are using a smart host that you absolutely trust and you believe it is necessary to do so. Also note that if you use this option and you give your users permission to change their email password via webmail or some other means, then changing the email password will also effectively change the smart host password. This could cause smart host authentication to fail for an account when its email password is changed locally, but the corresponding smart host password isn't changed at your smart host. If you need more help, all of mDaemon's mail delivery settings are explained in more detail in the mDaemon product manual, which you'll find on our website at mDaemon.com. Select Product Web Help under the Support menu to access our product manuals.